Oh, hi. You're probably wondering why I'm putting on this costume. It's because of what happened this morning. A few weeks ago, our neighborhood got a new ice cream man. Only this ice cream man was an ice cream woman. Her name was Olga, and she wasn't all that happy about her job. There were three reasons. One was that the kids on her route could be a little cruel. Here you are, a nice ice cream cone for each of you. <laughs> Don't eat too much of that or you'll wind up looking like her. Another reason was that uh, she had a little problem on her roof. <laughs> that problem, of course, was me. <laughs> Again, that cat. And it was a recurring problem. Every day when she showed up, I showed up. It was getting a little nippy in here. That was our uh, win every day. <laughs> so that was the other reason Olga was very unhappy in her job. Oh, there was one other. It said Olga was, well, kind of lonely. You know, you don't meet a lot of ideal men when you drive an ice cream huh? truck. Hey, let me have a triple dip cone. Uh, boysenberry, fish ripple, and tofu sherbet. Coming right up. Hey, Olga, you've put on a couple more pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I got home, Odie was watching TV. We're coming to you live from Pier 16, where museum manager Esmeralda Brubaker has just returned from an exciting expedition. Is that so? Indeed it is. The museum has just acquired this. It's a block of ice from the continental shelf in the eastern part of Greenland. It is said to contain the frozen remains of a primitive man. A caveman frozen in a block of ice? Can you thaw him out in a microwave? Uh, this is science, miss. We hope to learn more about history by defrosting the body. We'll transport it to the museum and begin the process. I brought back some ice cream bars. Want one? <laughs> Here, you can have whatever's left. Hey, the stick's the best part. You like to chase him, don't you? Okay, you're right. That was rotten even for me. If Olga's still around, I'll get you an ice cream with ice cream on it. And maybe nine more for myself. <laughs> All Olga was thinking about that day was, how long before I can get off work and go home to my crummy little apartment huh? alone? <laughs> hey. Uh oh, locked. Ah, there's a switch in the driver's compartment that unlocks it. Oh. That's it, right there. And that was when I accidentally fell in the parking brake. Whoops! <laughs> Stop! Don't go anywhere. No one's driving. License. I don't even have a cat's license. Maybe this button stops me. 
Maybe this one. That button didn't stop it either. And I didn't realize it at the time, but that was the button to turn off the refrigerator in the back. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, no, stop! Here's the manual that came with the truck. Stop it. Step on the brake. Oh, I'm out of danger. Oh. I think it would have been safer to drive off the pier. It's not enough you steal my ice cream. Now you steal my ice cream truck. Myron, you think this crate really has a frozen caveman in it? Eh, who knows? All we're supposed to do is load it into the refrigerated truck when it gets here. Hey, that must be it. <laughs> you bad kitty cat! Bad! And it was about then that a weird thought came over me. I started to feel sorry for Olga. Started to feel I hadn't been too nice to her. Yes, me. Yes, I feel sorry for people once in a while. Now here, get in your costume. So where was I? Oh, yeah. Do I'm guessing that's what these guys did. Are you sure this is the right truck, Myron? This is for ice cream. The museum must be saving money. Olga must have returned to her truck and driven off, totally unaware of two things. One was that she had a frozen caveman in the back on top of the cherry vanilla, and the other thing was that all the ice cream in the truck was melting. <gasps> That's right, because I'd accidentally turned off the refrigerator. Glad you're paying attention. So all the ice cream was melting, and so was the block of ice. Meanwhile, back at the pier, could you put my caveman into an ice cream truck? Uh, you said the refrigerator truck. <laughs> that was a refrigerator truck. I'm going to chase down that ice cream truck and get my property back. I didn't know what was going on, but it sounded like Olga might be in trouble. So I decided to hitch a ride and see if I could go help. And anyway, it beats walking. <laughs> As it turned out, she did need help. There's been this guy hanging around the neighborhood lately. Kind of a shady looking guy. He flagged her down. I want some ice cream, but uh, do you have change for a 20? I'm pretty sure that I do. Oh! Give that back! That is mine! <laughs> well, that is mine now! <laughs> she screamed, but nobody heard. Oh! Oh! Well, almost nobody. You cannot just take my money. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Put me down! I'll give it back! I'm sorry! You came to my rescue. And right there in the street, the caveman looked at Olga. He hadn't seen a woman in, oh, a few thousand years. So to him, she looked pretty good. Ooh, woman. And she'd never seen a man look at her and think she was beautiful before. So to her, he looked pretty good. <laughs> Even the little kids in the neighborhood could see it. You think she's beautiful? Uh, pretty, pretty. There he is. There's my caveman. Everybody could see the two of them were in love. Everyone except the lady from the museum. That caveman is museum property. He has to come with me. But we just found each other. These two lovebirds need a chance to be together. Fortunately, they had me there. 
And fortunately, I know the smell of ice cream, even the melting kind. <laughs> you can't take him from me! Yeah! He's coming back to the museum to be studied and put on display. <clears throat> what is it, Cat? Better take a look in the back. You want me to look in the back of that truck? Well, what could be in there that could possibly matter to... <laughs> this is your chance, kids. Go far from her and her museum. <laughs> so they ran off. And well, nobody knows where they are, but I'll bet they're happy together. Oh. Get me out of this! Mm, don't worry. I'll have you out in... No, I'd say about 600 spoonfuls. And, and what will I do with the museum? I, I promised my supervisors a caveman exhibit. Well, if you leave the happy couple alone, I can help you out for a while. And so that's why we have to do this. You up for it? Okay, let's go to work. And right this way, we have our new exhibit from Stone Age Life. These figures represent a primitive cat and a saber-toothed Odie dog. Remember, Odie, we're just filling in until they find another caveman. Yeah. Okay, lunchtime. Mm. Hope it takes them a while. Mm, the food here is pretty darn good. <sighs> Garfield, do you ever stop eating? Mm, sure, when I sleep and when I take naps. See, that's exactly my point. When it comes to food, you lack willpower of any kind. Oh, that's baloney. I could lay out food any time I want. If I really wanted to, I could do it. Yeah, right. Wanna bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet that you can't go one whole hour without eating anything. If you lose, you'll be my personal slave for a whole week. And what's in it for me if I win? <laughs> How about I stay away from your house for an entire month? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. The bet will end at 12. Good luck. <gasps> it's only an hour. We're just talking 60 minutes, 3,600 seconds. <gasps> It'll be over in no time. Can't be right. The hands aren't even moving. Congratulations, Garfield! You just made it through the first minute! One minute? That's all? But it feels like it's been an hour already. In fact, it feels like it's been three hours and 47 minutes. You're not giving up, are you? Heck no. As a matter of fact, 
I'm not even one bit hungry. <gasps> <laughs> if you say so. See you later. <sighs> 59 more minutes. <sighs> this is harder than I thought. I gotta find ways to keep my mind off my stomach. I know. I'll watch TV for an hour. TV's always a good way to waste your time. I mean, use your time. <laughs> I'm making chocolate milkshake. Oh, this has never been so easy thanks to our new turbo-powered chocolate-making machine. Oh. Rick, did you find it? Yes, bacon and cheddar, your favorite. Oh. Ah. Oh, my. Oh, oh no. It's the best pizza on the planet. Let me show you how pizza should be made. Huh? I tasted myself to make sure this Garfield? What on earth are you doing? Yeah, uh, oh, uh, there was uh, this unsightly blotch on the screen, and it uh, just wouldn't go away, so I thought I'd clean. <laughs> oh, look! There, on the carpet! Definitely take more than a kernel of popcorn to turn me into your personal slave, Nermal. Oh, look at the time. Only 55 more minutes of not eating to go. <sighs> 55 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest hour of my whole life. I must find something to do that doesn't involve eating. Of course. I'll take a nap for the remaining 55 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure Nermal didn't see that coming. <sighs> and when I wake up from my little nappy poo, I'll be rid of him for 31 days in a row. <sighs> That's something to really look forward to. Garfield, lunch is ready. Uh, huh? Yes, Master. Uh, could you just give me a minute? Huh? Ah! Okay, I'm feeling much better now. Really. Here you go, Odie. That one's for you, Normal. And the big one's for... <gasps> Garfield? <laughs> Triple cheese lasagna! <laughs> Thanks for rubbing the salt in my wound. Are you sure you don't want any? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Who wants a second helping? Meow. <laughs> <gasps> Garfield? Meow. This really hurts. I can't take this any longer. This hour will never end. This hour will never end. Oh. 
<laughs> and, well, it's good. Come back here and bring some mustard. And, Everything all right? All right. <laughs> Shh. Do you hear it too? Hear what? Hear what? Garfield, come to me. <sighs> come to me, Garfield. I know you want what's inside of me. Oh my! Open me. Can't, can't give up now. Must, must resist. Yes, yes, you'll feel better. Stop. Eat us, eat us. You'll feel better. Eat. I made it! I won! I won the bet thanks to my amazing willpower! Yippee! Oh, congratulations. You win. I'll keep my part of the bet. I won't set one foot in this house for a whole month. <laughs> It's never tasted so good. Mm. Uh. Oh. Mm. I don't feel so hot all of a sudden. Oh. 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 His temperature is normal. I think it's just a mild case of indigestion. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, really. Uh, do you think I could have one of those uh, cookie thingies now? I don't think so, Garfield. <gasps> don't give him any solid food for the next 24 hours, just to be on the safe side. 24 hours? You gotta be kidding, I barely made it through one. to respect our bet and stay out of this house for one whole month. You could have helped me with this enormous, chocolatey, yummy ice cream. <laughs> no.
Folks, do me a favor. Grab your remote control and pause this for a second. Phew. Thanks. Uh, you're probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. What do you think the chances are that cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. It's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mm, that cheesecake looks mighty good. No, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. I just give me a little more rest. And again, it's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it, in the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Huh? 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 Huh?
Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small. About the size of a crumb. Garfield! Yikes! I... <laughs> How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No, amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not gonna make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> This feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. <laughs> John dropped Liz off at her place and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home too. <laughs> of course, John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodie was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving a cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Odie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably gonna borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy. He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak. Huh? Mm. I didn't. <laughs> The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. You understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. Ah! 
It looks like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Uh, yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> I've arranged for the pet control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a uh, 10 lasagna apologies in order. I make that 11. That be the pizza guy already? I just ordered. Hiya, Garfield! I'm not... I just... oh, oh, oh. Odie, tell me you didn't see what I just saw. Hiya, Garfield! Yeah. <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs> Garfield, move over. <laughs> Hi, Normal. Come on in. Normal's master is out of town, so he's going to stay with us for ten days. <laughs> Isn't that right, little fellow? Ten days? You must be kidding. <laughs> Come on, guys. Be nice to Normal and make him feel at home, okay? Boy, aren't the three of us going to have so much fun? Really? Oh, but who? Who? Yeah. Who? Who? Oh. Ah, just in time for the Ice Skating International Championship. I can't possibly miss it. Oh, yeah? There. I want to see the face of the man who did it. <sighs> I'm bored. Oh! Can we do something fun, like play games? Oh, my leg. Did you just hear someone screaming? <laughs> Garfield! Oh, my leg! I'm spraying my cute, delicate leg! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Garfield! Meow! Meow! I can't believe John gave him my favorite seat and a remote. That's just plain unacceptable. Lasagna! Ah, lunchtime. I'm totally famished. No, Garfield. I don't think you deserve lasagna after being so mean to Normal. 
<laughs> Here you go, little fella. Four cheese lasagna with extra parmesan? My favorite, my favorite lasagna. Well, if you need anything or if Garfield and Odie are not being nice, ring it twice and I'll come, okay? <laughs> As for the two of you, I'm responsible for Nermal's well-being, so you'd better behave, or else you'll be grounded for the rest of the week. Capiche? <laughs> Odie, Garfield, would you be so kind as to bring me a glass of water? My throat's all dried up. <laughs> You're normal. <sighs> Come on, Odie, it's just for 10 days. This isn't even warm. How am I supposed to eat my cookies with cold milk? Ouch! You call that a massage? You're mauling my delicate fur with your claws. Try to be a little more careful, dog. Can I have my cookie or what? Here, crawl and get it yourself, your highness. That's it. I'm through taking care of King Nermal. Nothing will make me go back in there, you hear? Nothing, Odie. Nothing, nothing. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. I figured you deserved a little treat for taking good care of Normal these past few days. <laughs> Garfield! Odie! Where's my hot milk? Okay, you get the cookies. I'll go get the milk. You've been faking your injury all along, just to get royal treatment. And what if I did? You and Odie were so mean to me. Besides, you can't prove anything. You. Garfield, Odie, back off! Don't you see it's all an act? He's faking. Garfield, Odie, kitchen. You're grounded. Meow. 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 Have to fake anymore when I'm done with you, Nermal. <laughs> I'll lose my sanity if I have to listen to one more minute of that lame ice skating music. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. Hey guys, so. Uh... What are you eating in there? Mm, this totally yummy chocolate chip cookie cake. Mm. Can I also have a piece? Of course. But Odie and I are grounded, remember? We can't leave the kitchen. You'll have to come and get it yourself. <laughs> Bell ringing? Oh. 
field? Odie? Out of the house! Now! <gasps> Give us a remote and get down from the chair nice and easy. <laughs> oh, what? You and Odie wouldn't dare touch me. Fine. And don't say you didn't ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fella, glad to see your legs working fine now. <laughs> you don't even have a limp. You're not gonna get away with this, you hear me, Nermal? You'll need a lot more bandages once I get <laughs> Oh I really outdid myself with this four cheese lasagna. Oh, too bad Liz said you couldn't use your jaws for another month. <laughs> I have a surprise for you guys. I've asked Nermal to stay with us a little longer so he can cheer you up a little bit. Have fun! Ooh, ice skating! So sweet! Look at their cute butterfly costumes! to play ball. Ah, this dog never learns. Fine, let's play my favorite game. Go fetch and sleep outside.
house all you like. I ain't getting up to let you in, Odie. The Xantium repulsor is missing. If I don't find it, I'll never make it before the Saturnian rush hour. There it is. That curious quadruped life form has really saved the day. How could I possibly repay you, strange earthling? Seems like this selfish lasagna devouring orange creature has it pretty easy. It is time to turn the tables and make things right. Stop it. Garfield? Very funny. You almost had me for a moment. Where is Odie, anyway? <sighs> Where's that dreadful stench coming from? <gasps> Ugh, barf. What's with the doggy breath? I better go brush my teeth. How did I end up here? I must have been sleepwalking. Ah, there you are, Odie. Come on in. Breakfast is ready. Wow, he still can't get my name right after all these years. Mmm, <laughs> lasagna, yummy. Hold it right there. If he's Garfield, then who am I? This can't be. Ah. Odie and I have swapped bodies, which means. That Odie's eating my lasagna. There you go, Odie. Yikes! No wonder Odie's breath is so unpleasant. I'm not eating that. Back off, Odie. Those lasagnas are mine. Right. Let's not panic now. Let's just... Ah! Odie! Are you trying to tell me something? Yes, yes, yes! John! John! It's me, Garfield! I'm trapped in Odie's body! Do something! Oh, I get it, Odie. You need some exercise. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Odie? Can't breathe. Must be a nightmare. That's it. Wake up, Garfield. Wake up. I don't believe this. Odie's watching my favorite TV show in my favorite seat. In my body. Come on, Odie. Let's run another couple of blocks. I've had enough sport for a lifetime. Arlene, it's me. Garfield. Yeah, right. And I'm the Queen of England. Arlene, wait! I'm really Garfield and I can huh? prove it. Last year, I accidentally ate all your birthday cake. And and remember I, I fell asleep in front of the TV on our first date? Thanks for bringing back such good memories. What on earth are you doing in Odie's body? Hey, you tell me. Maybe that's what you get for always being so mean to Odie. You're right. I always treated him like a dog, and now I am one. Aw, oh, cheer up, Garfield. Just think of all the new things you can do now that you're a dog. Like what? Run after my tail all day and drink out of the toilet? Hey, Arlene! Hey, Odie! Isn't it an awesome day? 
You know what, Arlie? You may have a point. Hey, this is fun. Bodie, uh, oh. are you insane? These dogs have a death wish on me. Bodie, come back here. Garfield, this is your one and final mistake. Leave me, uh, leave him alone. Odie, what's your problem? You're protecting Garfield? Yeah. Can you think of one nice thing that Feline ever did for you? One nice thing? Uh, one <coughs> nice uh, thing would, uh, no. <laughs> My lucky bone! Booty, bad dog, cat. <laughs> now hush. Stay where you are, okay? Which way did that cat go? Wait! How do we know you're telling the truth? I swear, dog's honor. <laughs> wow, that was hairy. Come on, Odie, let's go home. Odie? Odie? Where are you, you miserable... Odie, no! Yeah! This could be my lucky day. The day I finally get rid of that pesky vermin once and for all. Yeah, I'm sending you to Booga Dugu. Help! Someone call the cops! That psycho postman stole my body! You in there? Dog's claws are so dull. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Another example of cats' immense superiority over dogs. Dogs don't land gracefully on four feet. There he is. I just risked my life for a laptop? Where'd that stupid cat go? Come back here, you four-legged thief! Oh, boy. Buddy, wait! This way! Not good. This way! Come back here, you orange nuisance! Not that way, Odie! This way! No way out. This is it, Odie. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for being mean to you, old friend. Goodbye, Odie. I'd better check how my quadruped friend is doing. My seven rings. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have interfered in the first place. Let's fix this mess before it gets ugly. <laughs> my delicate whiskers, my wonderful orange fur. I'm me again. I'm Garfield. 
At least things are back to normal. Ah! All things considered, the chair is big enough for two, isn't it, Odie? <laughs> <laughs>